Hi guys, Sammy here. Welcome back to another video. Today I have another review for you and this time it's the VCL X100 wide angle conversion lens. I have to correct something here. Um, I say VCL a lot in this review, but of course I mean WCL, just so that you know. And I bought the second hand on eBay. Uh, this is like a 28 on a full frame camera, so it makes your 35 field of view become a 28. This is really nice for street photography. If you want to get close, sometimes 35 is not enough. And it's a different kind of dynamic. You see it in the images, it just looks different. And originally I planned to review this lens in London, because two days ago I was in London, but the package didn't arrive on time, so I just got this yesterday. But it's okay, because today I'm going to Cologne. I have a shoot tomorrow. And today I will have a few hours um, during golden hour to test this. I'm really excited and I will see you in Cologne. You know, I'm a bit exhausted from my five hour train ride, um, but I still want to go out. And I'm staying here at a hotel that is really close to the central station and also really close to the Kölner Dome, the big cathedral. Yeah, I can't wait to go outside, so I don't want to waste any time, so. Okay, so I will go outside now. Um, I will not bring my video camera because it's just too heavy and I want to focus on photography. Um, but when I get back, I will give you a proper feedback. So I'm back in my hotel room, I shot for like 3 or 4 hours and I skipped dinner. <laughs> I just had to shoot. If you haven't noticed, the audio quality is pretty nice. 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 <laughs> yeah, like I promised earlier, I will now give you my feedback. By the way, this is the first version, this is not the VCL X100 Mark II. Um, the newer version has a magnet inside and it can communicate with the camera and the camera will notice that it's on and switches on the lens corrections. With the older version you have to go in the menu and uh, do it manually. But it's not a big problem. So um, yeah, how do I like it? To be honest, uh, today was not really a successful day. I just wasn't feeling it. I couldn't get into the zone, you know? I don't know, I just can't shoot in my home country. It's really difficult for me to feel relaxed and just do it, you know? I feel like everyone is really annoyed and the moment you take a photograph of someone and they notice you, you get that killer stare. <laughs> and the stores close here around 7 p.m. And after that, everyone is going home and uh, but we have we had a bit of rain today so that was really fun because then people started running and i got some shots of that uh, anyways let's get back to the vcl conversion lens because uh, this is why you are watching this you know the reason i got the vcl x100 is because i really want to explore wide angle street photography more i want to get closer to people and take more intimate shots you know, I got really comfortable with 35. I shot weddings with 35. I was doing photojournalism with 35 and it's perfect for this kind of work. But sometimes you have to switch it up, you know, and I want to only shoot 28 for now. Just see where it goes, you know, just to allow myself to be a bit more messy with the composition and maybe do something with the shutter speed and just experiment more and and you know the difference between 28 and 35 i think is significant enough that's it <laughs> i don't know what else to say um, i will um, show you some examples here i shot the cathedral here and the 28 millimeter shows so much more in the frame so i think 
if you are into dynamic street photography and wide angle close-ups then a 28 is much better for that than the 35 uh, which is much more pleasing to the eyes maybe but less dynamic and i know i said this before but i just like the look of this um, conversion lens i mean this looks so much better than the tcl i mean it looks like a classic old rangefinder camera you know the leica lenses with the vented lens hood and i will probably use this more than the tcl um, definitely <laughs> i might even sell the tcl who knows because the tcl sucks <laughs> it's nice to have if you want to take portraits but i don't really take many portraits so it does make sense for me to keep it so i will not give you my full conclusion yet and i want this to be a long-term review if i just talk to you and say like oh this is really nice here's how sharp it is we already have that on youtube i assume most of you are street photographers so i think it's uh, more interesting to see how it will perform on the street it's time to go to bed and i will see you next time <laughs> Buongiorno and greetings from South Italy. Um, I'm in a town called Tropea, really beautiful town near the ocean. And I've never heard of this place before, but my wife did. And we are here to spend our last summer days. So fucking hot. And of course I did bring my camera to do some street photography. And um, today I'm actually doing this. So and today I'm shooting a POV street video and I almost exclusively um, shot on the WCL. And here are a few things I noticed so far. Um, first, this lens really delivers. Um, the pictures are sharp, the corner sharpness is great, uh, no issues um, with autofocus, so that's great. And second, um, 28 mm is really great for layering. Layering is a really powerful technique in street photography, where you put multiple layers inside your frame. So that means that you have something in the foreground and in the background to create a more three-dimensional uh, look. I will show you a few examples what layering means. Um, Alex Webb, for example, he is really the master of layering, so check out his work. So yeah, I've been really enjoying this lens so far. Um, it's really great for street photography. And I'm going back into the city to do some more street and see you back in Germany. Bye bye. Welcome back to another day and another opportunity for me to shoot 28 mm. And today is actually the perfect day to test this uh, conversion lens because we are going to have a huge uh, pride parade here in Hamburg. Yeah, should be fun. See you later. So that was my first dive into the crowd and as you can see I am almost at the front 
and I'm going to switch to the TCL now and see how close I can get with 50 millimeter. So I'm going to take a short break to talk to you about 28 versus 35 versus 50. And in a situation like this, where it's really crowded, I think the wider the better. You can get away with 35, but I like having a wider focal length. So I'm going to change to the VCL again, because I like to shoot wide and TCL is just too tight. So I'm changing back here to the VCL. So one thing I notice is that with 28 mm uh, people really notice you if you get close. But I really like the dynamic feel of the 28 mm and at this moment I like it more than the 35. So I will keep shooting the VCL and I will go back into the crowd. So let's go. I'm back home and it's time for my final conclusion. So I've been using the WCL for almost two months now and I really enjoyed using it. I like how it challenges me to go closer, you know, and um, get more dynamic shots. So I really like that. Yeah, and all I can say is this. If you're looking to expand your X100F kit and you really want to shoot 28 mm, uh, you can't go wrong with the WCL. The image quality is really good, uh, it's sharp. Uh, the build quality is really solid and it really fits the overall design of the X100F. Uh, unlike the TCL teleconverter, um, this actually looks really good on the camera and the weight is not a problem. The TCL was really heavy and bulky and it made the camera really front heavy, you know, it was always dipping down a bit, um, but not with this one. I feel like I should point something out that I've missed, you know, I, I feel like I should point something out point something out. What? Oh, this is my old Ricoh GR. I'm sorry, I totally forgot that you exist. What's the matter with you? Maybe this is the right time to tell you something. What? You know, I've met someone That's and things are really going well. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have no use for you anymore. Can you please leave? No, no, no. You're embarrassing no. us. Of course I'm joking, I absolutely love this camera. This is the whole reason why I got into street photography. And the only reason I'm not using this anymore is because I can't use it. It's not working properly. Every time I turn on the camera, you see here that the lens is not open and I have to take one shot and then it's open. So, But I think it's still important to compare this with the WCL because this one has a fixed 28 millimeter lens and it's even sharper. I say this is the sharpest 28 mm on any compact camera. So, so I went out and took some comparison shots between these two just to see the differences and this is what I've got. You want some? Go ahead, take a run at me. So as you can see, this camera is really serious business and I would highly recommend considering the GR if you don't have any camera yet and you really love 28mm and you don't care much about not having a viewfinder, uh, then you should really 
take a look at the GR. But for all of you guys who have X100F and you're mainly a 35mm shooter and you just want to switch things up a bit, um, absolutely get the WCL. For me it's more like a replacement um, for the GR because I'm waiting for the GR3 and... And I hope that the uh, Ricoh GR3 is coming out. I really hope so. What can I say? Please Rico, if you see me Rico, bring it out. As much as I love this camera, uh, I really miss having a compact camera that I can, you know, put in my pocket. And I will definitely do a review about the GR3, so let me know if you are interested in that. So there you have it. This is my review of the wide angle conversion lens. I hope this was useful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you want to buy one yourself, I have links in the description. And before I leave, I have one more announcement to make. I'm really excited to introduce a new video series on my channel. Um, I already filmed four episodes, but I'm still in the editing process of the first one. Um, but I can't hold it any longer. So I made a little teaser and I will just play it to you now. <laughs> All right, as a street photographer, if you see anyone playing a saxophone, no, that's a don't take a picture of it. <laughs> So this is my new show. I hope you're as excited as I am. For me, I, I really get excited being on the street and meeting other street photographers. You know, the whole concept is just me joining another street photographer. We go on a photo walk. We talk about street photography. We talk about the city. We talk about favorite photographers, camera gear, shooting style. And it is also like a travel video, you know, because you get to see a city from the point of view of a local photographer. And what I really love about this is it's so unpredictable, you know, like street photography. Because we are walking and recording and we don't know where we are going. We don't know what will happen. So, yeah. If you're interested in seeing this, let me know in the comment section. You can also suggest other photographers because I'm making a list of all the photographers I want to meet. And I already have a few that I will meet in uh, London and Tokyo and... I don't know, we will see. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next one.